Hi guys, welcome to projectsgeek.com. Today we'll talk about how to configure Java on your Windows machine. So let's start. So first question is how we'll find which Java version is installed on your machine. To find it out, you need to go to start menu. Type cmd and you need to fire this command in your command prompt. Java space version. You can see the Java version installed on this machine. Another way to find it out is go to C drive, program files and then Java. Here you can see the Java version installed on my machine. It is JDK 1.8 and JRE 1.8. Now if you go back to command prompt and if you try to put this command. We'll see Java is not recognized. That means command prompt is not able to find the Java version installed on this machine. So what we'll do, we'll try to fix it. So we'll try the method one, which is temporary method. As soon as you restart your machine, that setting will be gone. So again, next time you'll see the same error. So what you need to do is you need to fire this command. Set path equals to path of your Java installation. If you go to JDK or JRE, you will see this bin folder. You need to give this whole path in your command. If you type this command and give enter, yeah, it's success. Now, if you try to fire the same command again, we will see it's throwing some error. It says some parameters are missing from the Java command. So, now what we will do, we will try to compile a Java program using this command. Yeah, it's success. Our Java program is compiled now. Now we'll try to run this command. So we'll give Java. Okay. So we'll try to move to G drive and we'll try it again. Yeah, here we can see our project is compiled successfully and we are able to run that project. So now we'll see the other way how to configure it. So for that, what you need to do is you need to go to your computer, go to properties, go to advanced properties, environment variables, and under user variables for Anil Kumar. What you need to do is you need to create one variable. Variable name is path, and you need to copy this path. Just save it here and click OK. That's all you need to do. So, this is a permanent solution. Even after restart, these settings will be there, and you will be able to run your Java commands from command prompt. Just to validate this solution, what we'll do, we'll try to set the path as null and then we'll see what happens. If I try to... give the Java command, just we can see it is showing Java version. If you see... again it is showing the same things. So we'll try to run our program again. We'll move to G drive. We'll do Java as project, and here it is. So it is working fine. So you can go for second solution if you want to retain the settings for further login sessions. But if you want those settings temporary, you can go for the command line solution. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos.